this this one uh hang on <laughs> right here uh, um, it, it boosted the prices of shares but it left the company's balance sheets heavily heavily exposed to any sort of a downturn so what I wrote about this is, look, I said, look, I would actively support an airline bailout. We at Peak Prosperity would actually do that under one condition, that the boards of directors and the C-suite executives of these airlines suffer a five-year clawback on all compensation for having run a ruinous stock buyback scheme to enrich them. Dumbassery should not be rewarded. So this whole thing, again, we're seeing, oh, no, it's a crisis, and guess what happens in a crisis? Uh, big companies and the very wealthy and the big banks they all get bailed out and yeah he's right they're, they're gonna call it all those names all those various things uh, stimulus packages um, loans all kinds of other words they're gonna throw on it. A loan is just you giving money to someone. Yeah, I'm gonna loan you some money. Bailout. They're they're giving them money because their system on the stock market, the pump and dump thing I was talking about in a previous video. That's all they've been doing. The same thing that the assholes portrayed. <clears throat> Um, in fun with Dick and Jane, Jim Carrey movie. Want to understand a little extra context? Go watch it and understand. And if you don't understand, look up some of the financial stuff they were talking about. Because this this whole thing with the the economy, the American way of life, this fucking profiteering scenario, is nothing but a fucking scam, a con. A pyramid scheme, a Ponzi scheme. There's no real value anywhere. Not in this system. It's all this pump and dump, and you can see that on the stock market because it keeps jumping up and down. And even over the long end, it goes up and then it comes down. And it may take another 20 years to go back up again and then come back down but it's all a pump and dump scam it that's exactly what it is as long as this farce is going on as long as this nonsense this imaginary fake monopoly money system where you know because the billionaire uh idiots of the world theoretically lost theoretical money that only exists in a theoretical system they get more money to theoretically lose all over again if you approach someone and you explain this in very vague terms to anyone who knows about addiction and gambling problems they'll tell you yeah that looks like an addiction to gambling because they're spending money on things they don't have. They're spending money they have, don't have on things they don't have for it to possibly grow bigger and then they lose money. Yeah, that's that sounds like gambling, doesn't it? That's exactly what the stock market is, in a nutshell. It's gambling for the, the filthy fucking rich. And these people have been profiteering and racketeering. And they don't call it gambling because, oh... The, the, the so-called slaves underneath it all, oh, they'll work for each other, and they'll pay each other money. And that's where the over-ender on the stock market comes from. It's just levels of confusopoly. The whole system is corrupt. And they knew. Either they knew, or they're really fucking stupid, and they shouldn't be in office to begin with. Either they knew when they first saw the, the thing explode in China, the thing they're calling the new COVID-19, the coronavirus, the Kung Flu. They knew when they saw it. Or, they're so fucking mentally and socially inept and retarded and stupid, they don't need to exist. They need to be killed. Either way, 
The only thing this proves is what George Carlin said years ago. They do not care about you. They do not care about you. They do not care about you. Get it through your thick skulls, everyone. The people in charge right now don't give a fuck about you. That's why your government is bailing out fucking industries who don't need the fucking money just because of a theoretical number in cyberspace. Because that's where the stock market is now. It's not in the Twin Towers like it used to be. It's in a fucking server room. That's where it is. It's all theoretical numbers now. None of it's real anymore. And, you know, to be honest, none of it was ever real to begin with. It's all a, a fallacy of value that uh, someone passes off and makes into an axiom, which an axiom is something that's so widely accepted as truth that it's used. That's an axiom. And there's a lot of things I just don't accept as axioms because it's complete bullshit. And how corrupt America is after I've grown up and seen it all myself. Well, not all of it. I've seen a nice, sizable chunk of it. The whole system needs to fucking change. The whole system. People in power, that, that they're supposed to, you know, their job is supposed to be a leadership role. Leaders lead by example. What example have they fucking set for you? Tell me that. Being a leader, as far as I have determined... It's not a job you should be paid for. It's a burden and a responsibility. And as long as these assholes are saying, I deserve the best of the best in life because I'm your leader, yeah, that means they're corrupt. You know what a leader should tell you? I can get this shit done. All you have to do is do what the fuck I tell you. We'll get it done, and then I'll go fucking back home and take a break until I'm needed again. That's what a real leader should be saying. Because people should be able, people should be well able to take care of their own fucking selves. I shouldn't have to babysit people if I'm a leader. That should be the mindset of a leader. They need to know how to take care of themselves so that when this happens again, uh, it's not as bad as this. And um, let's take a, a trip down history lane. America has existed for nearly 300 fucking years. Of that, you've seen two instances of a virus that sweeps across the entire planet. Every 100 years, this fucking happens. It's documented. And you can go and you can ask China and you can ask fucking Iraq and Iran and Egypt and fucking... Russia and Great Britain, 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 Great, Great Britain, and every other country that's existed for longer than America. You can ask them all. And they'll tell you, yeah, this shit happens. We've got documented case going back as far as, you know, we've had documentation available. They'll tell you that. They really will. Now, here's something that's going to happen. Civil War. You've seen the seed of it in China. Citizens, you know, being censored from displaying anything about uh, what's going on. Uh, the leader um, being offended by a joke. I mean, come on, if someone makes a joke about you, you should find a way to fucking laugh. Unless, you know, everyone is offended by it. And it's just, at that point, it's it's far beyond being a joke. It's, it's an attack. A malicious attack. But a lot of people need to get their heads out of their fucking ass. A lot of you delicate little snowflake bitches. You're all gonna melt when the sun comes up. Now get your fucking heads out of your ass, people. The assholes in charge, they don't give a fuck about you. You have to learn to take care of your own fucking self, okay? Your neighbors aren't your fucking family or your parents. They're not going to wipe your ass for you. Just, you know, 
let me, let me contextualize this with an example. YouTube and Kappa. Okay? I'm not your fucking babysitter. Okay? It's not my job to tell, you know, oh, I'm going to take this federal fucking fee because, you know, YouTube is collecting the data and not me because they want to say this video is intended for children. Fuck YouTube. Fuck Kappa. Fuck the bitches in charge. They don't give a fuck about me, an individual, just like your government doesn't give a fuck about you, the individual. Wake your fucking ass up and smell the fucking shitstorm you've been living in. Just because they've been spoon-feeding you shit in the middle of a shitstorm and it smells like everything else around you, it don't mean that it ain't shit, okay? Because you're still eating shit. You're still believing shit. You're still smelling shit. You're still surrounded by shit. And you know, an episode of South Park covered that. Where Stan was diagnosed with Asperger's. Yeah. When the whole world looks like shit, smells like shit, everything starts to taste, smell, and look like shit, it's probably because it's shit. And that paraphrase that I just said came from another YouTuber, AVE. Yeah. So, at this point, that's kind of an axiom. Not too sure how many people buy into it. But I've seen it go around a few times. So it might have become an axiom, it might not. But here's an axiom. Here's a good one. I don't know if it's relevant, but K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, keep it simple, stupid. The government never should have fucking lied. They never should have, you know, <laughs> you know, done this fucking um, stand-up routine, yet yeah, you're not a fucking comedian anymore, Trump. You, you're not. You, you need to set your fucking foot down and say, look, this is what the fuck's going on. This is the plan. Who the fuck's on board with it, okay? You need to be fucking blunt and honest instead of this fucking stand-up routine. If you're trying to imitate, you know, fucking George Bush Jr., yeah. Okay, that was fun for a little while, but it's not something that needs to be consistent, and it's not something that needs to stay around. Not at all. So, the takeaway from this is either the assholes in charge don't give a fuck about you, and they knew from the beginning, or they're too stupid to exist, and they need to die and be replaced with responsible intelligent people either way civil war is inevitable at this point because the amount of social and political and civil unrest that has been generated on a global scale from the assholes in charge you know putting their thumbs up their fucking asses thinking hey yeah this is good it's it's unprecedented now, that's to say nothing of the amount of literal fucking terroristic tyranny and high treason that the United States government commits against everyone's fucking unalienable rights on an hourly basis. That's to say nothing of that. That's, that's a full fucking beast of another fucking dimensional reality there. That's how far removed the... the the situation is from reality. It's fucking unreal. Till next time, fuck off. Oh yeah, and give me your fucking money. I deserve it more than you do. Fucking toilet paper, toilet paper hoarding fucks.